So we are supposed to be moving in and leaving this morning. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. These are the biggest snowflakes that we've ever seen. The kids are running out. They're all trying to get their, get some on their tongue, <laughs> the little ones. It is huge. So needless to say, Ash's one friend messaged and said, well, we tried to get back to school today, but we got stuck and had to turn around and go back home. So hopefully it lets up enough to get kids to school because <laughs> they have to pay a fee for moving in if they don't move in today and classes start tomorrow. So hopefully we can get them back moved into their dorms, but I tell you right now, it's not looking promising. If you guys can see now I came out front, these are the biggest snowflakes I think I've ever seen. They are humongous. Oh, it's so beautiful. We were supposed to have flurries today. Surprise! That is not what happened, but it is so beautiful here. I'm worried that. It is looking like a winter wonderland out here. Hello, everybody, and happy Sunday. And yay, Bengals. Go, Bengals. <laughs> my daughter's wearing her Bengals gear. My mother's saying they're in the playoffs and she's watching the game. We're not football people, but yay, Bengals, <laughs> for those of you that are. Uh, so welcome back to another full day of meals. Today is moving day with the girls for college. I showed you already this morning a whole lot of snow happening, uh, which is a little bit crazy. But that's what's happening here so it is instead of us leaving this morning it's 2 30 and we're going to attempt to try it but i did make some muffins this morning so here is a look at uh how we made these muffins chocolate chip muffins and peach cobbler muffins okay so up here i have some buttermilk powder um so we're gonna try to use that and then down here in our fruit, we're making, um, heaven's sakes, we are making muffins. And our fruit down here, well, I thought I had peaches. But it looks like all the peaches are gone. Somebody ate all the peaches. So I have to see if I've got any other kind of stuff. I also, though, need to grab this last thing of the milk. And then, as you can see, I still do have a lot of coconut milk, which I'll move into that next. And I have coconut whipping cream. I have <laughs> condensed coconut milk and milk. So, let me see if I can find some peaches, because I was wanting to make peach muffins. All right, so I did have one bag of sliced peaches. I <laughs> just put through all the frozen stuff out there. As soon as I can up some of the tomatoes and make cowboy candy and different stuff with the jalapenos and pickled jalapenos, I'll have so much room in my freezers. But I was able to pull this out, so I'm going to make chocolate chip muffins and peach muffins. Okay, so I bought this actually years ago, and somehow I am lucky that it does not expire until 23, the 15th. I think it was, looks like January 15th, 23. So I want to use this up. I don't even know why I bought it long ago, but I did. You probably would have seen this if you followed me on my old channel. You probably saw this in the old um, pantry things that I used to do. So I got to refrigerate it after I open it. I've never done this before. So you're going to add, to make a cup of buttermilk, we'll just make a cup. We're going to add four tablespoons of this and one cup of water. I'm just going to make a cup of that. tablespoons of this. I've never used this before. 
we're gonna add one cup of water. This is one of the reasons I save old spaghetti jars. Okay, one cup of water. And I'm just gonna shake this up and mix it up good. And then we'll just let it sit. And I'm gonna go on and mix up my other milk as well. my milks are ready to go then I can start making these muffins okay, got both of those also lost my eggs. I need to refill my flour container before we start. Also, I need to refill my sugar container. to start. I preheated my oven to 425. I'm gonna start with the chocolate chip muffins. So I'm gonna mix all my dry ingredients together. Two and a half cups of flour. A tablespoon of baking powder. teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm just going to stir this up. To this, I want to add my chocolate chips so that they get some of this flour on them. I'm going to stir that. That'll help them from sinking, all of them sinking to the bottom of the muffins. Then I'm gonna add one cup of sugar. And just a quick little stir. Mix all that together. Now we're gonna add our wet ingredients, but we're gonna mix those together as well. So I'm gonna add two eggs. Sorry, hopefully you guys can see. Some vanilla. And a cup of buttermilk. So I'm gonna mix all this together and then I'm gonna add this to the dry. that to the dry. It smells so good with all the vanilla. And I'm just going to stir this all up. And I'm going to add the muffin mixture. Pretty thick.
These are gonna cook for 15 to 18 minutes. Might have told you that already, I'm not sure, at 425 degrees. So these are going in the oven. Um, actually, you know what I think they're good. I'm gonna sprinkle just a few little chocolate chips on top. Ready to go into the oven. So while those are cooking, I just have this had some milk in it from making the other ones, um, which will be fine. I need about a cup of these peaches diced. And then I'll need a few more for sprinkling on top. And actually, I think I'm gonna put them in a little warm water, just kind of defrost them a little. And the recipe, like I said, actually calls for canned peaches and add a little bit of the canned juice, but I don't have that either, so I'm just gonna add a little extra milk. Okay, so I am gonna go on and put this in some hot water real quick. All right, so I'm gonna just cut these into little pieces. And I'm just gonna dump them in here. I just need a cup worth. All right, next we're gonna start this one. And I just realized I forgot to add the half a cup of melted butter to the other one. My, my mind is so scattered right now. <laughs> Um, but hopefully they still turn out good, I'll let you know, but you should add a half a cup of melted butter to that other recipe. Okay, I'm gonna start with my dry ingredients. Two cups of flour, a half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a cup of sugar, and I'm just gonna mix this together. Mix our dry. And then I'm gonna add these peaches. I want them in with the dry again for the same reason. I do that with my blueberries normally too. It just keeps them from sinking to the bottom. Honestly, I'll add just a few more of these peaches. I don't need so many for the top. So we're gonna start with two eggs. And add some vanilla. We are gonna do a half cup of milk. a fourth a cup of melted butter. Just stirring it till it's all the way melted. Peach juice, which I do not have, so I'm just add a little bit more sugar because that would add it a little bit more sweetness. And then just mix this together really good. the dry and I'm gonna just stir this just until combined let's 
gonna be another really thick muffin batter. I'm gonna add just a drop more milk, I think. Cause that's awful thick. I'm going to spray down my muffin tins. I'm going to add the batter. This is one Charles is very anxious to taste test. Okay, then I'm gonna add just a few little peach slices on top. All right, for the streusel topping, I've got a couple tablespoons of melted butter here. To that, I'm gonna add some brown sugar. And some cinnamon. And then I'm gonna start just adding some flour. And when I do streusel topping, I know I've shown it a lot, I just like to, I had to break up some of that brown sugar, pinch it until it all just kind of crumbles and mix. That way you don't end up with a great big ball of goo. Instead you get the nice little crumb topping. So I kind of go in like this, like a claw. Now actually I can use just a little bit more flour. And then I'm going to sprinkle this crumb topping on top. And then these are going into the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. If you want it more uh, bigger crumbs, you just add a little bit less of the flour. But for this, I wanted smaller crumbs. Now these are going in the oven and I'll show them to you guys when they're done. And then some stuff I grabbed out of the freezer while we're waiting on all that to cook. Plus I got some of this um, sirloin tip thin cut steak. Um, I'm just going to cut that into strips. And I'm going to cook it up with some tomatoes and green peppers. These are from our garden. I've just got them out defrosting. There's some of the little yellow tomatoes we grew. We grew some yellow pear tomatoes. Some still have the little thing I need to take off. Um, some Roma are in here. Just a mix of tomatoes. And I also got out to defrost some of the okra that we grew. I uh, thought I'd make some fried okra to go with it. And then for our juice, for the next couple days, I thought I would make some cranberry juice again because I still have a lot of cranberries in the freezer. Okay, so here is the peach. I'm gonna let Charles taste test these for you oh. real quick. All right, he is not fired. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> fired or not, I still get to eat it. Well, you threatened to go on strike yesterday. Oh well, yeah. If I wasn't nice to you. That would be dumb on my part. <laughs> so then you don't eat. <laughs> Ooh, can you see that steam? No, oh, then I can. It's like a perfect picture. You can a little bit. It is still hot. Mm. Brick tasted it and said, all right, that's pretty good. Peach is one of my favorite things, so yeah. it's kind of hard to mess up peach for me. But that is really good. Your crumb top turned out spot on. Yeah, that's always good. Am I fired? 
No, you're not fired. Good, because this was really good. <laughs> I'd like to continue employment for the fringe benefits. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Mark. Okay, so here is the chocolate chip. They're looking lovely. And I will have a taste tester on that for you. All right, taste tester number two is still Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm not showing the kids. Brick is the best taste well, tester, but... I, I gotta tell you, this one, I don't care how good it is, it was not gonna be as good as that peach. But Just because you love peach. Yes. The peach one was not overly sweet. So they're gonna be mm -hmm. very different. It's like eating a fudgy one, almost. Is it good? It's got a really good texture to it. I did not use that buttermilk mix before, so... Mm. I don't know. It's fluffy. You're doing much better. <laughs> mm. All right. Really We're going to go eat because it is noon and everybody in this house is starving. But the pizza's still better. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys later. Okay, so my take on the muffins is the peach muffins were not super sweet. Um, so if you don't like overly sweet, I think you'd really like the peach muffins. I would add a little bit more brown sugar to them because I think they should have a little more sweet. And the chocolate chip muffins though, oh my gosh, they were bomb. I did remake them without showing you guys with the um, melted butter. Definitely do the melted butter. Definitely. But... Follow the recipe that I actually have linked down below for you guys. <laughs> but it was so good. They taste like chocolate chip cookies, like fluffy chocolate chip cookies. They are so good. So those are my favorite of the two so far. Now we are going to eat something real quick for lunch. We do still have some muffins here, but some have already actually been eating and some of it might be in here. They are trying to get everything packed to go. Guys, don't forget all this stuff in the fridge. There's one piece left. Everybody's been kind of picking. We had some of the pizza left from last night. You guys, that pizza was so good. If you missed that, it is definite. We're going to make it again and again. I think some bacon would have been good on it. And somebody said red onions. I agree. Don't have any red onions, but there was onions cooked in with the pork, which was still tasty. Um, and we also have, hold on a minute, please. Let me do this real quick. We also have... Um, still some tortillas here and beans so they can whip up a bean burrito as well. All right, they're all making fun of me because I'm filming. <laughs> they're ready to get the car packed. So that's what we're doing for lunch real quick before we leave. And then tonight when I get back, I will make the uh, cranberry juice and the meat that I had shown earlier that I got out of the freezer. Okay, <laughs> crazy hair. We are home. It is 6.30. And I need to get this dinner started and get this video out for you guys. You guys, the okra is a no-go. It looks like, I don't know, something just awful. Forget it. So we'll stick to putting that in soups and stews <laughs> and uh, sneak it into smoothies. And um, I'll do the fried okra when we have some fresh okra, some fresh okra later. Uh, the girls are very happy to be back at school. And everybody's safe and sound. We're getting tired. This has been a long couple days and a long car ride. So let's start dinner. I'm gonna just start making some rice and then we're gonna put this stuff into, um, we're gonna put this stuff into roast and then we are gonna mix it all together with the rice. Okay, so all the tomatoes and the peppers, I'm just gonna put on my cookie sheet. Probably drain some. Okay. So the tomatoes, I'm just gonna kind of rip them up into other pieces, because these are some big pieces of tomato. I am gonna just put these into roast for just a little bit, and then I'll add the meat. On the other side. I need to add some onion real quick. I'm just going to put it in kind of big slices.
I'm gonna toss this with some olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, oregano, and some garlic salt. I'm gonna roast this at 400 degrees, and in about 30 minutes, I'm gonna add the meat to the other side. Okay, so now for the meat, all I did was just kind of just slice it, and I'm just gonna lay it in here. And the only ones eating tonight, this dinner, will be me, Charles, and Kate. Ronnie is still just doing some like chicken noodle soup kind of dinners, chicken and rice, that kind of stuff. She's not 100% yet. The girls left, and obviously Luke doesn't eat any any meats, except for pepperoni. And Theo, he's not big on this either, this kind of meats. He does chicken mostly, is what Theo will do. So I have some of his chicken tenders. I'll probably throw that in the oven for him. And Luke actually ate while we were running with the school. So he, I packed him peanut butter sandwiches and he had some of his chips and some of his juice. Okay, now this will cook very quickly. As far as this, the meat goes, I'm just gonna use a little bit of seasoning salt and just shake that on it. And then I'm gonna put this back in the oven on 400, just for just a little bit. So I think what's gonna be good, sorry, you're dropping there. <laughs> All right, I think, there, I think that's good. I think what's gonna be good with this is kind of do like an A1 sauce. So put it over rice and just do like an A1 sauce on it. And I'm gonna add a little feta cheese to mine because I think that sounds good and Kate probably will too. Charles will not. So I'm not even gonna mess with the feta cheese. <laughs> this is just a super fast and simple dinner because it is already seven o'clock and honestly, we're done. We're done for the day. <laughs> Tomorrow is, Charles has a meeting in the morning, we need to clean the house. Tomorrow is like our only day that we don't go. So it is a good day to get all the cleaning done, get a good night's rest tonight for that, and I'll cook and I'll clean, and then we start our, our days uh, running on Tuesdays. So, oh, we do have to make a trip though to Tractor Supply tomorrow. We gotta get grit for the chickens, and we need cat food, and uh, we need cat litter. But I'm still good on dog food, so that's what we need. All right, so tonight though, we're just doing this super fast, easy dinner. I'll show it to you as soon as I'll put together. So what I didn't mention was, as far as something sweet tonight, um, if everybody wants something sweet, I have the muffins left. And I also had two loaves of bread that I made. It's been like two days now, so we need to use these up probably by tomorrow. And so I'll probably be making breakfast, lunch, and dinner involving these breads. <laughs> but uh, we can slice this, pop it on a cookie sheet, melted butter, a little brown sugar and cinnamon, and this is good to go as like a sweet treat. So that's what we have for tonight, as far as like any kind of dessert goes. Okay, so here are the bowls. You can see it's just rice, the veggies, and the meat. And then we have teriyaki sauce, barbecue sauce, steak sauce, something like that, whatever. I will just take probably this bowl here, and I'll just show you. I'm just doing steak sauce, which is almost gone. And I'm gonna add a little bit of feta to mine. I think that would be good, and I like that. So that is my bowl. Now Charles will not do either one of those, so we'll see what he does. 
Okay, first he's gonna try it just as is without any kind of stick sauce or anything. Then he said he'd try it with teriyaki sauce probably. Yeah, so I think I would. I'll get some teriyaki sauce next. You gotta get the vegetables too. I was gonna say steak sauce would be good, but I think teriyaki sauce mixed with your vegetables would be a nice combination. Because you know I'm such a flavor critic. Yeah, you're also just not a vegetable eater. So the, I'm not. I can't you, seem to you're get... trying to not get vegetables. That's just gonna taste like steak. Mm -hmm. You have to eat vegetables with the steak. <laughs> it was easier said than done. Mm. Those peppers are really good. Do you want sauce with it or you want it plain? Mm -hmm. I think I still do teriyaki sauce on it. Let me go get that and he'll try it with teriyaki on it. Yeah. Alright. Now with teriyaki sauce. Now yeah, we'll try it. And I try to get more vegetable in this one. Mm -hmm. You like it with the teriyaki? Mm -hmm. It's kind of a flavor your own bowl. I kept the flavors very basic so everybody could kind of just do what they wanted to do with it. Yeah, that's great. Very good. All right, there you have it. It won. He likes it. It's a very simple, fast, easy dinner. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to get this up for you guys, and we're going to just chill. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope all of you have a great day or night wherever you are, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.